This is an analog multimeter and it comes with two leads, a negative and a positive. These two leads are used for testing electric current. This analog multimeter has three sections. A high voltage section, which is used to measure electric current coming from the grid. This high voltage section is used to measure current such as your alternating current. Current from 100 volts to 1000 volts or more. We have the second section, which is your ohms or your resistance. This section is used to measure resistance in a circuit if a circuit is closed or opened. We have the third section here, which is your low voltage section. This section is used to measure low voltage, such as your 12 volt batteries. This section is used to measure low voltage. So now, how do you connect or test a high voltage coming from the grid? We're going to show an example of an extension. But first of all, you see this knob right here? We're going to turn it to this high voltage section. Here in Nigeria, we use 220 volts to 240 volts. So it means we're going to be turning the knob to 250 right here. Good. And we're going to be connecting it into an extension to test. So this is an extension. The current in here is coming from the grid, which is around 220 to almost 240 volts. So now we're going to be connecting the multimeter lead into the extension to read the current flowing through this extension. Remember, we've already turned the knob all the way to 250 volts. It's better for the multimeter to be connected higher to a higher number so that it doesn't blow the multimeter. So guys, let's test the high voltage flowing through this extension remember we're going to be connecting it through these two holes right here so one of them is life and the other one is neutral but we can place the lead anywhere any one of the holes so we're going to connect this one and we're going to connect the second one you can see the multimeter turned all the way the multimeter turned all the way and if you check this place right here, you will see it is around 250 volts, almost around 250. It's around 240 something volts. So that is how you check your high voltage. Remember, it should always be on 250 or above for it to read correctly so that it does, you don't blow out your multimeter. Now, for us to read the resistance in this wire, First of all, we're going to turn this knob all the way to this resistance, which is 1K. So we'll turn the knob all the way to that side. Okay. So for us to read the resistance of this wire, we're going to take the two lead, connect one at um, one hand and the other one at the other end. You see the multimeter read all the way. So what the multimeter is doing is reading the resistance to check if the circuit is completely closed on this wire. Remember, if this wire is faulty, which means the wire has a breakage inside, it will be hard for you to tell physically. So when you turn this knob all the way to the resistance, and you check it, it's going to read. If it doesn't read, it shows the wire has a breakage inside, which shows there won't be any resistance. So that is how you check resistance in a circuit. What it does is to check the continuity of this wire. If it's okay, that's why it's reading. Now, how to test low voltage. First of all, we're going to turn this knob all the way to the DCV, which is direct current volts. Let's do that. 
So we are turning it all the way to 10 volts. This battery right here is around 3.7 volts. So we are placing the multimeter around 10 volts so it should be able to calculate the voltage accurately. If we're using a 12 volt battery, or if we want to test the 12 volt battery, we are going to turn the knob all the way to 50 so that it should be able to give an accurate reading. It should not be below the current you want to, the number right here should not be below the voltage you want to test. If not, to end up blowing the multimeter. So now let's test our battery. The top is the positive, the base, which is the down is the negative. You can see the multimeter reading. The multimeter is reading. To check the voltage on an analog, if you you have to pay attention to this red one, is around three point something, around three. This red reading right here, you see two, you see four, is in between two and four. That shows it's around three point something, almost four. Almost four volts. So that is how you check a low voltage using a multimeter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you on the next upload. Take care.